All right, this is what our last day in Hawaii is gonna look like. I don't even know if I dare open this door. Well, that's not paradise. Makes it green. It's paradise. It's just not enjoyable paradise. Yeah. This is our last day. Doing this all day. Well, hello. <laughs> I was getting ready for the as ready for the day as I'm going to get given that torrential downpour. So we're just gonna spend the day here in our room. Well, we'll see how no, it goes. it'll let up. It the light, it, it'll do it heavy, and then it'll let up. But I'm gonna finish getting ready. I'm just slowly um, gathering stuff, gathering laundry and that kind of stuff. Um, wasn't planning on pulling the camera out right now. <laughs> I'm still in my nightgown, but I am starting to pack things up and get ready to go home tomorrow. We have an early flight, so. Um, join us on our last unparadise day in paradise. We're, it's a good, I don't know, this is kind of a good lesson to teach all of us how to go with the flow, how to make best out of situations. People are down here trying to like use an umbrella. I don't even know what that would be. I guess it's working for them. It's one of the staff members. So we'll see what we do today. Okay, what happened to another, another flash flood of work? Like our fourth or fifth one. Uh, LA Bridge may close on short. No, is it? No, that's not the one we need. Yeah, to that's go north. To. That's North Shore. We're not going up We're north. Going there, just across the river, drainage. Yeah. Uh, flash and now it's like, oh man, look at the the water again out there. Yeah. It's back to brown. It's actually not raining right now. I bet you that river over there is just gushing again. Yeah. It's paradise, they say. <laughs> this is the reality of, we're, we're going with the flow. We're fine. If it's not raining, I'd like to go out and look at the the ocean out there because it's getting all mucky we'll again. Shot. We can play. Go we'll uh, look at the river flow. The, uh, pool. Yeah, you can still play in the pool out there. It's still warm. It's still like almost 80 degrees. Um, some point today, I am going to do a little, um, souvenir haul and uh show you guys wait let um, me see your shirt what we got no no no. i already have it kind of packed away in little oh yeah yeah ashley wants to get one for herself she's realizing that there's dollar amounts attached to the sweatshirts kaylee abby and chelsea have gotten chelsea got shorts but you've only gotten a 20 dollar yeah t -shirt. everyone else has like a 50 dollar <laughs> sweatshirt and i got a 20 dollar she's finally top. caught up caught, caught on to like the dollar amounts that I'm Everyone spending on the other kids. Because I say that I'll buy each kid one thing, like one item of clothing, because that's you the thing. You didn't tell me how much it was. I never said that. Now I have kids that are finally, you're the last one to finally figure that you out. Pay for more than half of mine. <laughs> okay, Ash, what are we going to do? Billabong. Going to Billabong. Couldn't find parking. Except for way down there. Dad is our taxi down there, right? When Dad insists on not adding in me as an extra driver for free, <laughs> he becomes the chauffeur, which he's usually fine doing. Yeah, but he does. To be fair, sometimes he doesn't like it when he has to run out and get everything for everyone, which is right now because he's back there putting an order in for Kaylee and Jacob to get some lunch. Because oh, there's a lizard. Hang on. Hey little guy, you know how to camouflage with your log right there. Yeah, females have longer tails. After a weeks of consideration, what did we finally decide on? A blue set shirt that says Kauai. 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 I thought you said Hawaii. No. Are you happy? Yeah. She spent half of it on her, well, half of her money. All of, All of her money for half of it. Yeah. All right, we have satisfied the shopping for every child. That's quite the feat. So we are um, gonna go pick up Kaylee and Jacob lunch because I was starting to say that when I 
saw the lizard. Um, Jason, Abby, and I all had leftover Subway. And I'm assuming Chelsea found something to eat. What did Chelsea find? Well, I don't know. Echoes. What? I think echoes. She doesn't like waffles. I don't know. One had a peanut butter jelly sandwich. And then There's she no sandwich. We've gone through, we've done well, except for waffles. Uh, but we're getting done. We only and have chips. two more bags. And they have two no. more bags of we'll probably be done with waffles. There's like four more bags of waffles. Two half of them. Like one of them's like. So, overbought the waffles. Overbought on chips, but I think had we had more beach days or any beach day, that would have actually like we would have used those way more. But when you're really? stuck inside for yeah. with the rain, you don't nibble on chips as much, which is a good thing, I guess. But we had a storm alert like almost every day. Yeah, we've had two or three storm alerts this morning. We didn't capture the other ones for you guys. Um, and it's just, I just want to clarify, one, we're not, I mean, we are kind of complaining because it is kind of a bummer, but we understand that the island doesn't need us to be inconvenienced. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, the flooding is real. One of the stores right there it's got cool. flooded last night. We were just in there a few nights ago. It was right next to the pizza place we went to. And, um... We also don't need to be bothering the bridge areas that are damaged and have a ton of traffic. This car is so high. I'm short. Um, we just don't need to be bothering and adding to the traffic. We can't go to the North Shore because that bridge is in like high alert for a flood. Um, Blurb. And we would be hosed if that bridge went out and we were on the North Shore, we would not be able to get out. That place gets isolated from time to time. Very fast. So, um, and also I haven't, I mean I think I've talked about it, but the water, the ocean water, is kind of no bueno these days. Brown. It's brown in the areas where it's not, it's like, Here. what's, what's in the water? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's all coming from very high up. Um, in the mountains and the rivers and whatnot and lots of floaties lots, lots of, of bacteria lots I mean, you know, you see the waterfalls and it's all clear water and stuff But you're adding a whole lot of muck to that when it's swept down over natural landscape and um, That's I remember you have to go pick up the place the, the food at oh, yeah. Paco Tacos that golf course place. Yeah so You know, I don't know could, oh, see the river. You couldn't see it. It's just, it's literally like, looks like mud. The river that's just right here next to us. So, while it's, we could be super irritated and bummed we can't go to the beach, it's like kind of a good thing because it would be, it might make us sick, is what I'm trying to say. It might make us sick. It actually might not be kind of gross. Um, and the, it's, the waves are all pretty big. And so, there's no snorkeling ability. Even if you found a calmer beach, everything has been churned up. And so you can't see through the water anywhere. <laughs> and all the fish are like, like just. Yeah, so it's just not something to go in and do and see at this point. So We've it's been a bummer. At the pool. We had some mean games of, uh, what is it? Ultimate ball? Ultimate, fris what? ultimate ball, yeah. Ultimate frisbee. Ultimate frisbee with the ball. <laughs> they went oh, to the, you just yeah. went. You just went to the beach with Kaylee and Jacob. Wait, the Not pool. The, beach, the, pool. the pool, sorry. Yeah, um, this morning, in the torrential rain, they went out nice to the, the hot tub. We had fun the other night going out when it was raining. Yeah. <laughs> um, if we weren't going to Lava Lava Beach Club tonight, I would take the sunny skies and the murky, um, humid air and go pop, pop myself back in the pool, but... Um, we only have about an hour, if that, before we need to leave to even have a chance of getting into Lava Lava and getting across the bridge. Fingers oh, crossed we, go we can, bridge. I know, this is one bridge we have to go across to get to that restaurant. Um, we're just doing but we're trying to go at a time where we don't add to major traffic. We're going to go and eat dinner a little early, which I know we're picking up Kaylee and Jacob food, so they're not going to get to eat I don't as much. Know what they're, why they're doing that? Well, because we were, they were late to give us their order and go out. That's right. fine. So, they're just not going to, they're, at Kaylee really wants the 
pineapple salsa and chips at Lava Lava. So that might be all she eats tonight, which is fine on my budget because we're out of money. Um, even though we didn't do the excursion we planned on doing, I'm kind of just giving you kind of a synopsis of the trip. Um, we were not able to do the ATV tour. It's just not safe. It's too muddy. The flash flood alerts are too risky. It's too here and there. Yeah, and I, I mean, I haven't even checked into it. I hadn't even booked it. Um, I don't want to risk them having to worry about my booking, telling me if it's canceled. Like I said, we've been getting flash flood alerts every single day we've been here. Whether it's raining or not, we've had flash flood alerts. And that area that we would do the ATV tour would be super risky. So it's right by the Wailua River, which is super flooding. So it's unfortunate, but um, we've seen Kauai before. We know how beautiful it is. It's not like we're missing out on it and Jacob doesn't know what he's missed. <laughs> yeah, it's a bummer. It would have been fun to show him. That yeah, course, and it would have been fun to do the ATV tour to go and see something that we hadn't seen before. But we'll, we'll we come back another time. When he gets wealthy, he can bring all of us to mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so we will go get their food and then we will spend our last evening, hopefully, fingers crossed, at Lava Lava. Um, don't know what the backup plan is, if that's not possible, but we'll figure it out. We'll have fun tonight um, regardless. to do could somebody come and take me away i've been in the tea without you and i got it in my head night and day but we are one step closer we're all in this together put your hand in mine yeah we are one step closer can you feel it baby it's the end of the Oh, look at all of that trees. Yeah, I know you can't see. Holy crap, they gotta get that out of the way, don't they? And then look at the water out here. When you shop Simple Truth at QFC, you don't have to worry about artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Because we're free Yeah, there's so much debris backed up there. This one is the only one who wanted a shave ice. Well, no, me and Charles are shaving. No, she wants it. Oh, she wants it. She's in the car. I'm so we came to our favorite. I can't stomach it right now. I mean, I'm just too full. So we came to our favorite one, just next door at JoJo's. You should get some merch. I do like JoJo's. It's my favorite one. It is the best. But I don't need. They're cute. 
but oh, I actually might get this one. This one's cute. That's kind of cute. Your last shave ice. What kind did you get? Uh, Lilo and Stitch. Lilo okay. and Stitch. Is it good? This is your favorite kind, huh? Well, Chelsea's. What, what are the flavors? Uh, red raspberry and blue raspberry. Yum. The amount of stopping we do for chickens. They're alone, She's though. Like, Stop. They're alone. No, they're not alone. Their mom is with them. Where? That's why they're chirping because they're trying to call for their mom. But the mother she ain't wants there. to pause and go back and look at all the chickens. <laughs> um, there it is. I think they're gonna. Are you gonna go to the pool? Is anyone else going? She's up in the tree or something. Yeah, you can hear. Oh, I got stuck up there. I'm not gonna get into the pool tonight, but maybe I'll go down there and watch you guys hang out in the hot tub. The it's pool is probably the actually pretty warm. Pools. Yeah, it's one of the warmest pools. Yeah, we've well, been, that's the plus side to this trip. Um, despite the fact that tonight was the first time I've actually put my feet in sand, no joke. Like, like sand between my toes. Um, uh uh. Yeah. I didn't at Poipu, I didn't take my shoes off. Oh yeah, you did. Um, despite that, we were lucky that we had, obviously, the best resort in the country. It's rated number one. The pool. The best pool. No, the resort itself. Yeah. It's rated number one. Oh yeah. So we did have that, and that was very nice to have the pool as our option the whole week. And we would just wait until we had our little glimpse of sunshine and we'd hurry and go hop in. We would have done that this afternoon had we not all really, really wanted to try for lava lava. And the fact that we made it happen without rain was actually a true miracle. It looks like we 